All right, welcome. We are doing it. We're doing the YouTube thing. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what this is going to end up being. We're going to start with lap steel. I know a lot of people have asked me about that. So I want to start there, but I don't know. First, some disclaimers. If you want to learn lap steel, traditional lap steel, traditional dobro, traditional lap slide guitar, I'm the wrong guy. I have a weird technique, right? I use three finger picks. Um, I have this thing, which we're going to talk about in a second. We're going to talk about everything here. But first, if you really want to learn lap steel traditionally, you want to learn lap steel songs, you want to learn Santo and Johnny, you want to learn that stuff. I'm the wrong guy. I don't know how to do any of that. So go to LessonsWithTroy.com. MikeWitcher.com. Those guys have a fantastic technique, they're great players, and they know the classics. They are steeped in what we would consider the tradition of lap steel. I am steeped in none of that. If you want to learn what I'm doing, then great. Let's start now, and we're going to see what happens. I don't. This is a brand new experiment for me, and we're going to see where we end up. If you're looking for something that you're not getting, hit it down in the comments below. We're going to figure it out. Let's start with tuning. I tune to open D tuning. So that is D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Let me do that again without that thing playing. From low to high, D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. I use a variety of, of tone bars. I don't, there's no right answers here. First of all, let me start there. Before we do anything else, there's no right answers. This is my way of doing things. It's gotten me to a certain place, okay? The, the, the tone bar I'm using today is a Shub SP3 because it's cheap and I drop them a lot. I have fancier bars, they're also great. I use Pro Pick number two extra comfortable finger picks. I use Golden Gate large thumb picks. The reason this is wrapped up here is because I use the Hannah Guitar Strut Capo, which goes underneath my strings. And so if I put it here, for example, and I get it dialed in, and I wanna play, the strings back here can rattle. All I'm trying to do, all I'm trying to do, is just that way now, that's it. But for now, we're not gonna use the Capo at all. So it's not going to matter. And in fact, I'm going to take the bandana off the guitar. So here we are. We have open D tuning. If you're a guitar player and you've ever played in, in drop D tuning, your bottom three strings are the same as in drop D. And so the first thing I want you to do, if we're playing lap steel my way, is just do this. Bottom three strings, third fret, and then bottom three strings again. Open three open. Okay, sounds familiar? Now, you have a variety of ways to do that. You could do it with your thumb pick, right? You could do it with your fingers. You could probably, I don't know, hit it with the back of your hand. Everything you do is going to be its own sort of sound. The point is this. Any one of those is acceptable depending on what you're trying to do. So if you're trying to learn lap steel, and today we're just going to talk about some basic stuff, the real thing is to play. To sit down and play and keep playing and love playing. Because sitting here and practicing is not going to get you anywhere. Practicing scales, maybe it'll get you somewhere. Practicing scales has never gotten me anywhere. Sitting down and playing and sucking until I didn't suck quite so much is what keeps me moving forward. Okay, I'm only using my bottom three strings on the open strings and the third fret. That is it. 
We're not going up here yet, not going anywhere else. If you can't get a groove off of that, you gotta keep working. So I wanna take this here, we're going. Open three open, that's on the fifth string. Okay, and then There's another reason for the bandana, real quick. I'm hearing these strings ringing up here, so I'm gonna put this back on. Okay, so, open three open. Three on the fifth string, three on the sixth string, open. Okay. I'm gonna groove on this. This is the lesson for this for this video. Okay? Don't don't get away from this. Learning how to do things in a very restricted fashion means as you open it up, you have more little pockets of places we can we can work. And I'm gonna work on some different little pockets here, but this is a groove that you can sit and jam with your buddies on all day. <laughs> soft. Get all those different, the way that I play. That intention, I can play hard, I can play soft. Then change it up, find your own groove. Find another groove. Okay. Start there. If this is your first time playing, start there. It's the... This is the basis. This is the rock that we're gonna base everything else off of. Because there's only five notes in a pentatonic scale. There's only seven notes in a major scale. So everything is about groove, everything is about timing, everything is about choice, where to leave space. Space is music. And my biggest frustration, one of the reasons I don't teach, one of my biggest frustration is that everybody wants to move on too fast. And that includes me. I'm, I'm guilty of the same stuff. I'm already like, oh God, what else can I do? But staying right here. See, I moved. Staying right here is going gonna, is gonna to open up things for me. Because I'm already coming up with new ideas that I wouldn't have come up with if I had all the notes. So I'm going to sit here after I turn this camera off and I'm gonna jam on this. And I hope you will join me. I hope you will practice this until you're so tired of these three notes, but every time you hear it in any song you listen to, you're gonna go, I know exactly what that is. I know exactly what those notes are. Because, right here, is the pentatonic scale minus one note. That's the only one that's missing. Join me. Thanks for watching.